Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel Samantha Polak. For this video, I partnered with SIM. I will leave all the product details in the description box and I will also show you the products in this video. But if you can't wait, the products are in the description box. Today's makeup and hairstyle is inspired by the Wadabi tribe. Beautiful people, beautiful tribe. They are from Niger, Nigeria. But unfortunately, I can't give you so much information. <laughs> So you have to Google it yourself. Google is your best friend right now, okay? If you want to see how I achieved this look, please keep on watching and don't forget to thumbs up this video and support me by subscribing. Enjoy! These are the products I've used by SIM, the Coco Shea Spray Moisturizer, the So Much Moisture, and the Twist Defining Cream. I've already twisted the majority of my hair off camera but now I'm going to show you how I use the products and my tips and tricks how to achieve juicy twists. I start with the Coco Shea spray and I spray this all over my hair. This is also a great moisturizer for your scalp. So if you want to use this as a moisturizer for your scalp, spray this into your palms and massage your scalp and massage it throughout the hair. I apply the twist defining cream starting at the ends and work my way up. I've already detangled my hair before I start twisting, but to really make sure that the tangles are out, I use a white tooth comb and I use a denman brush. The denman brush will also make the curls clump together. I never do my twist on soaking wet hair. It will take a long time to dry. I always add more products on the ends because my ends are the driest part of my hair. And again, I use my denman brush. This will give you the definition you want. You see the work of the denman brush? No jokes. And now you want to curl the ends. Repeat the steps on the last section. So now that I'm done with the twist, I'm going to finish up my makeup. In the meantime, I let my hair air dry before I sit under the hooded dryer. The makeup of the Wadabi women is pretty basic. I see they're using some kind of eyeliner and dark lipstick. And they also make yellow and white designs on their face. So I want to keep the attention on my eyes, lips and the designs. After I did my makeup, I sat under the hooded dryer for about 20 minutes on medium heat. The hair is now 80% dry and that's perfect for this hairstyle. I made a triangle on each side. I needed to be close in the mirror, that's why I did it off camera. I've used a red tail comb to create the parts. I use one pump of the So Much Moisture and apply this to my hair. I'm using this lotion because we're going to use kinky hair and you don't want your hair to be dry. The kinky hair soaks a lot of moisture. I start with a flat twist and then two strand twist all the way down. We're gonna add kinky hair where the two strand twist starts. I made a long and a short strand of the kinky hair. I wrap the long strand around the twist. To secure the strand, wrap this a few times around in the beginning. And this is called forelock. You wanna forelock the hair maybe 2 or 3 inches. Now you can unravel the twist and separate your hair and the kinky hair in 3 strands and then start braiding. The reason why I twisted my hair all the way down is because I don't want my real hair to get tangled with the kinky hair. I add more of the lotion on the ends and continue braiding. The kinky hair I cut in an angle just to make it easier to braid. I part the hair in half and apply so much moisture on the back. This part needs to be smooth. I twist the back upwards in one giant twist. Now that the twist is done, you want to clip the hair out of the way. The front section I put in a high ponytail. I section the hair in two and single twist each section. Now I two strand twist and secure this with a bobby pin. You 
you want to shape and use a bobby pin where needed. The back section you also want to secure with bobby pins. Section the hair in two, twist, and secure again with bobby pins. You're gonna need a lot of bobby pins. I made this braid with the same kinky hair. I saw that the Wadabi women had a colorful headband, but I don't have a colorful headband, so that's why I braided and used the kinky hair as a headband. For the art designs on my face, I use a yellow base makeup. I had to apply this a few times because it wasn't pigmented enough. And you can create your own designs. And that's it. That was the tutorial for today. Tag me in any of your recreations, love to see them. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Until the next time, bye!